we're making uh, we're making progress with the gears. Um, where's the uh, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's so, gear number one is cut, which is good. Uh, my spare gear got a bit massacred in the uh, in the cutting process, but there you go. We all make it, we all make mistakes. It's all about making mistakes. That's why I made two. Um, I'm not an expert on uh, on gear manufacturing or on a milling machine. I'm not an expert on anything on a milling machine, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what I'm doing at the moment is reversing the direction of the machine, which means rewiring the plug. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even try to explain what I've been doing here. Um, these are my first. These are the first gears I've cut on a milling machine, um, and I've decided to start with bevel gears because that's what I needed. Uh, bevel gears are a bugger. Um, apparently, what you need is Ivan Law's book. I don't have Ivan Law's book. It's all about. It's all kind of a learning experience for me. Like I say. Um, the journey is as important as the destination in many cases, that's kind of why I've got these machines. Um, so rather than going out and buying Ivan Law's book, which I probably should have done, bollocks just dropped a screw, um, I figured that this is, uh, this is nothing particularly new, and therefore the information is probably out there somewhere. So I started looking around on a few, there's a few websites, uh, with lots of very useful information um, but what's most useful in fact is old literature there's an awful lot of very old literature and most of it's out of copyright and freely available on archive.org um, a treatise on milling is, is one that I used quite a lot uh, so that's, uh, that's extremely useful um, like I said you know, it's freely available it's totally out of copyright you can download it, I'll give links to some of this stuff. Because um, I, I was basically decided I decided that I wanted to uh, wanted to learn it all myself before uh, before trying. And all my dimensions came from a mixture of a mixture of sources. Uh, the only real problem where's that, where's that bloody screw gone? There it is. Uh, the only real problem with the, the old stuff is that it doesn't work well with metric. Um, it's all pretty much a diametric pitch, a diametral pitch calculations. Um, so you end up having to go backwards and forwards between uh, between various systems of measure, which is not the best. Right. Yes, okay. So that's the right way around. Uh, yeah, you need to go backwards and forwards between different measuring systems, which is uh, which is not uh, not fantastic, but it's uh, it's one of you know, the evils we have to live with. Right, where is my little bath to the, the evils we have to live with? There you go. That'll do. Uh, let's set our height. Well, I think I'm going to do this, but I've just undone it anyway, so might as well. You're going to gash it with a slitting saw anyway. Um, I was going to go in direct and cut this direct, but I might as well gash first. Right, there we go. So I'll put some links in for some books if you're interested in uh, the actual principles behind this. But yeah, I'm not going to try and teach anybody how to do this. A, that would be sucking it, teaching grandma to suck eggs in most cases. Most people know more than I do, and um, and otherwise I'm not an expert. I'm not there to to give any kind of advice. I'm just showing some stuff that I'm buggering about within the shed.